Welcome everyone to the Saturday morning meditation at the Buddhist library. My name is Anna Brandau. We're going to start our practice with the Metta Sutta. This is what should be done by one who is skilled in goodness and who knows the path of peace. Let them be able and upright, straightforward and gentle in speech, humble and not conceited, contented and easily satisfied, unburdened with duties and frugal in their ways, peaceful and calm and wise and skillful, not proud or demanding in nature. Let them not do the slightest thing that the wise would later reprove, wishing in gladness and in safety may all beings be at ease. Whatever living beings there may be, whether they are weak or strong, or meeting none, the great and the mighty, medium, short or small, the seeing and the unseen, those living near and far away, those born and to be born, may all beings be at ease. Let none deceive another or despise any being in any state. Let none through anger or ill will wish harm upon another, even as a mother protects with her life her child, her only child, so with a boundless heart should one cherish all living beings, radiating kindness over the entire world spreading upwards to the skies and downwards to the depth, outward and unbounded, freed from hatred and ill will, whether standing or walking, seated or lying down, free from drowsiness, one should sustain this recollection. This is said to be the sublime abiding, by not holding to fixed views, the pure-hearted one having clarity of vision, being freed from sense desire, is not born again into this world. The practice of chanting is a common part of the Buddhist practice in most of the Southeast Asian countries. It helps us to ground ourselves in the present moment and when we feel like we can't sit and meditate, chanting will bring us some peace and calm and settle the mind. So let's start by relaxing the body and today we're going to do um, awareness meditation. So it's open awareness meditation. So we just relax the body, consciously relaxing, softening the head, finding that upright position is best, but if you can't, lying down with awareness is also fine. So relaxing the shoulders, the arms are relaxed, the hands are relaxed, forearms, chest opening the chest, the upper back is soft, Softening, softening the lower back. So the whole body is soft. The lower part of the body, the legs and the feet. Finding some letting go. Letting go of stress. You can take a deep breath in and then out. And we're going to start our practice today. We're focusing on the breath and then we're going to open our awareness to whatever else is happening in our environment. So we're going to start by bringing our full attention to the abdomen, the rising of the abdomen as we breathe in 
the falling of the abdomen as we breathe out, just of the normal breath. Perhaps you need to breathe a little bit deeper to notice first, then go back to the normal breath. Can bring the attention to the whole of the rising of the in breath. Can bring a gentle, soft label, rising, rising, falling, falling. And if helps, we also find an anchor in the body. So the sitting bones are good in meditation. So rising, falling, sitting bringing the attention to the pressure on the buttocks. And we start with just focusing on the breath. So whatever arises in the mind, we acknowledge and bring the attention back to the breath. Patience, patiently and kindly, again and again, as many times as necessary. That's what the mind does all day long. Engage your thoughts, pleasant, unpleasant, or neutral. Whatever rise, we treat the same. Bring the attention back to the breath. We will do all of them later. Reminding ourselves of the time for non-doing. And how precious it is, creating that habit. At least 10 minutes a day, I'm going to practice non-doing. Coming back to some silence, some peace, creating some space. And that will help me throughout my day. Being more calm and centered and patient. So we create that feedback in our mind, like when we go for an exercise, go for a walk, come back energized and refreshed, the same with meditation. And we get distracted by sounds, we acknowledge hearing, hearing. And bring the attention back to the breath, patiently and kindly. And we get an itch in the body. So before just going straight to it and scratching, just bring your attention. Sometimes by just bringing the awareness there, it will pass without us to need the need to move or to reach out. The same of discomfort in the body. We unconsciously change the body position all the time on our day to day. So in meditation we want to bring awareness. Before moving bring the att attention and then slightly mindfully adjust the body. 
slowly. And now we're going to start opening our awareness to thoughts, sounds, body sensations. So whatever arises in the mind becomes the object of the meditation. So if thoughts arise, we know the thinking, thinking, thinking. When the thinking subsides, we bring the attention back to the breath. And we notice sensation in the body. And then let's say it's a pulsating sensation. So we notice pulsating, pulsating, pulsating. With our full attention. When it passes, we notice the breath. So if the breath will be that anchor always there for us to come back to. The same with sound. We hear, we notice hearing, hearing. And when that subsides, the attention comes back to the breath. So in this meditation, this open awareness of meditation, our focus is changing. In, instead of having one object like the breath, we have several objects that can arise at any moment. And that also includes the breath. And as we go and notice thinking, thinking, observe that the mind immediately wants to engage with the thoughts. If they are pleasant, we're thinking about a possible holiday. We may get excited, dreaming about a holiday on the beach. So just observe thinking. And how the mind gets taken away very quickly to some creation and fantasy or planning, if that's a real possibility for you, of going on a holiday. So just observe thinking without engaging with the whole story. So we're trying to finally, eventually, when the mind is very settled, to observe that thought popping up like a bubble on the surface of the water. The mind will become very sharp. same of hearing. There is a sound that comes and through that sound we create stories. Let's see if we can observe 
just a sound, how it arises and passes away, and be pleasant and pleasant or neutral. How the mind goes and judges and tells a story about the sound. It's so fascinating. Where we want to be just in the present moment, noticing hearing, hearing. And when the noise passes, we have the breath. Noticing the rising and falling, perhaps the sitting. If you're lying down, you have sensations of touching in the back of the legs, the shoulders. Before moving the body, just observe if the sensation is unpleasant, you observe unpleasant. Then we come back to the breath. Trying to stay in the present moment of what is. But we still concentrate and we focusing. But instead of focusing just on the breath, we're focusing in whatever arises, becomes the object of our meditation. And that's very helpful for some people who live in areas that are very noisy, a busy road. So we learn how to accept that it's just a sound. And we can adjust to it, stay in the present moment. Understanding also that will help us to meditate anywhere. We sit in a park doing a lunch break. And we can do an open awareness meditation. And when the mind gets taken away by stories, we come back to the breath, even if it needs to be for a minute or so, depending on how strong the story was. Come back to the breath, we get focused again, and we open the awareness again to sound, to thoughts, body sensations. Whatever rises that is strongest, 
to be the object of that meditation. And we have to be careful with this meditation of the labels. When we say thinking, 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 we don't want to use thinking as a, as a broom to clean up the thoughts of our minds. We are there observing which type of thoughts are arising. And if they are pleasant, how much we cling to them, we want to pursue them. And if they are unpleasant, we notice that aversion arising immediately sometimes. How the mind judges, qualifies whatever arises immediately. If there is a thought, then there is a judgment about the thought. We have to embrace whatever arises with acceptance and equanimity. And that's the practice that we want to achieve. To achieve true equanimity towards the nice, the ugly, pleasant, unpleasant, painful, pleasurable, annoying, gratifying, whatever arises, we are in the present moment observing, fully present, And is on this space of openness, acceptance, the insight arises. So open awareness sometimes is a practice of insight meditation. So we're truly sitting with ourselves, our body, our mind, our hearing, sometimes the smell, depending where we are, can also get distracted by taste or smell. And little by little we start peeling around our ideas and opening up to some truth, some reality of the way things are. And 
And through that comes acceptance of the way things are, of our minds, of our sorrows, our gifts, our mistakes. Letting go of pretense and learning how to be and finding joy in this present moment. That's all we have. This present moment. It's an amazing fact that we are alive in this present moment. And when we connect with ourselves, truly connect with ourselves, that deep nature inside ourselves, we connect with all other beings, we realize that we're very much the same. Perhaps we spend a lot of time separating people in different groups, but we're very much the same. And through that we can live life without fear. That's the best gift. Acceptance. Trust. Open your hearts and our minds to all living beings, big and small, seen and unseen. So we just bring our awareness to the whole body before we enter and our practice. And as we start our practice with a method chant, I'm going to end our practice with our method chant. So this chant is called Metta, Indeed, Speech and Thought by Chamiye Sayadu and is an English translation by Arya Bauman. Whenever your action is suffused of metta, you will be treated with respect and kindness, forever remembered with gratitude, living harmoniously and in unity at peace with yourself and the world. Whenever your speech is suffused with matter, speaking words that are sweet, beneficial and pleasing to hear, you will be treated with respect and kindness, forever remembered with gratitude living harmoniously and in unity, at peace with yourself and the world. Whenever your thoughts are suffused with matter, you will be treated with respect and kindness, forever remembered with gratitude, living harmoniously and in unity at peace with yourself and the world. Thank you so much for attending these sessions and I hope to be with you in person at the Buddhist Library very soon. Bye for now.